Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Biopadi and in this video we will be moving forward with a new topic that is our muscular tissue, right? In the previous video we had completed our epithelial tissue in detail, right? Now in this video beta, we will be moving forward with the next topic that is muscular tissue and if it's winding it up early then we will be covering up another topic that is your connective tissue. Right? So let's get started. I hope you are seeing all the videos because all the videos that I am uploading beta, they are in particular parts and every part is in a particular sequence. Okay? So need not, you know, you don't, know, you don't need to search the tab bar again and again for a specific topic. In my video, you can go to the playlist and in the playlist, you will see section wise videos for different, different classes, different, different topics and different chapters. Right? So let's get started with video number two of our types of animal tissue. This is our muscular tissue. Right? So with a muscular tissue has special proteins. What are the special proteins? I have told you in the previous video. What is the special protein? The special protein is beta contractile protein. Okay? So muscular tissues, they have contractile proteins which give them the ability to contract and relax. Okay, which give them the ability to contract and relax, contract and relax, contract, relax, contact, relax, right? So they have the function of contraction and relaxation. And who is helping them in contraction and relaxation? It is our contractile proteins. So muscular tissue has which proteins, beta? Contractile proteins. Okay, so these contractile proteins help in contraction and relaxation. Okay. Now there are three types of muscular tissues beta. The smooth muscles, the skeletal muscles and the cardiac muscles. Okay. So here you can see I have drawn three particular diagrams. First one is a smooth muscle. The second is of the skeletal muscle and the last one is of the cardiac muscles. Now we will be studying them in detail. Right. So let's come to smooth muscle beta. So, in the smooth muscle, you can see that these muscles, beta, they are smooth. They do not have any striations. In the previous video, when I was giving you just a brief summary of the topics, that is muscular tissue, I told you that they have striations present, light and the dark bands, right? But can you see those light and dark bands in case of smooth muscles? You will say no. So, what will you write here, beta, that smooth muscles, they are actually unstriated muscles, right? No striations are present, so it is unstriated. Okay, they are unstriated muscles and beta. Are they voluntary or they are involuntary? So they are beta involuntary. Okay, involuntary means they do not work according to our willpower. Okay, they are involuntary in nature. Now let's come to the shape beta. What is the shape like? This shape is spindle shaped. Okay, they are spindle shaped. Okay, spindle shape is somewhat like this. Okay, this is the spindle shape beta. And how many nucleus is present in a single bond beta? One. So they are uninucleated. They are uni. Uni means one. Uninucleated. Right? Now they have branches or they are unbranched. So you do not have any kind of branches like you can see in the picture. So they will be unbranched. They are unbranched. Fine? Now let's next come to the skeletal muscle. Now you can see in this picture beta, this was totally a spindle shaped. Okay, this is spindle shape, right? Now, this shape beta, you will say, first let's normally talk about it, that what are skeletal muscles? You can see beta, there are light band, then dark, then light, then dark, light, dark. So, this type of structure in which light and dark bands are present in an alternate form, okay? Alternatively present hota hai, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, okay? then that form is referred to as it is striated. That means striations are present in the form of light and dark bands. Okay, so they are striated. So like it was unstriated, what will be right here beta? We will write here, it is striated. It is 
striated and what about involuntary or voluntary so beta skeletal muscles are the muscles which are connected basically to our legs to our arms like if i want to move my hand i can move it is not automatically moving right so what will happen here they can move according to our will power right so it will be voluntary or involuntary it will be voluntary in nature okay so right down here it is voluntary in nature then what about the shape beta it is cylindrical in shape like you can see it is cylindrical in shape right and also beta does it have branches it is unbranched okay it is multi nucleated and unbranched like you can see in one cylindrical structure you can see three nucleus so it is multi nucleated multi nucleated fine it is multi nucleated and what is unbranched beta no branches are present so it is unbranched okay next let's come to the cardiac muscle now from the name only it is saying cardiac cardiac means it is present in the heart beta okay so cardiac muscles they are also known as heart muscles they are also known as heart muscles they are voluntary or involuntary do you want your muscles of the heart to stop and when they stop you are okay no beta no what happens in the heart It keeps on pumping the blood 24/7 24/7 a week you know right 365 days entire lifetime it keeps on pumping the blood so that means they never stop as a nahi hota ki when you feel like stopping your muscles of the heart you tell them to stop and they will stop no they will not listen to you so they are what voluntary or involuntary they are involuntary okay which do not work according to your will power so right here it is involuntary right then beta next one we are talking about the shape now so you can see the shape again here beta is cylindrical okay it is cylindrical in nature as cylindrical in structure then it is branched it is branched and again nucleus how many nucleus is are present you can see here beta it is uninucleated or multinucleated it is uninucleated okay uni nucleated fine so this is all about our muscular tissue its types and explanation is very very clear beta okay let me just repeat it again muscular tissue has the ability to contract and relax how come beta because it has contractile proteins and contractile proteins give them the ability to contract and relax right the total there are three types the skeletal muscle the smooth muscle and your cardiac muscle so first we will talk about the smooth muscle so how come the structure is looking to you in smooth muscle beta they are unstriated unstriated means no light and dark bands are present whereas if we talk about skeletal muscles beta they are striated they are having light and dark bands in an alternate manner then cardiac muscles beta they are involuntary and they are known as heart muscles they are present only and only in the heart but smooth muscle is involuntary they do not work according to your will power then skeletal muscles they are voluntary and this is also again involuntary then let's come to the shape this is spindle shape this is cylindrical in shape and this is again cylindrical in shape this is uninucleated this is multinucleated this is again uninucleated and then beta this is unbranched this is also unbranched but this is branched done simple right it was so easy okay so now beta in the next video we will be moving on with our connective tissue and then last will be our nervous tissue then we will be completely done with this chapter right so till then any problems any doubts you can put it in the comment section beta i will be clearing it up as soon as possible and do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and make sure you are spreading it with your friends you are sharing it with your friends and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and stay tuned for the new and fresh video